<laughs> All right, everyone. No, that's not it. Welcome back. No, that's not it either. <laughs> Is this a bit? <laughs> What's up, everyone? It's Chicks in the Office with Rhea and Fran giving you that Friday energy on a Wednesday. I think we need to leave... All yeah, you of can that leave in. that in. I really thought that was I'm a bit. I've, when you when you said welcome back, I was like, oh, now she's just she's joshing us. <laughs> I'm not completely forgot the intro. Five hundred one episodes. Five hundred one episodes. Can't remember how to do the Starting intro. Fresh. <laughs> yes. Uh, what's up, everyone? Tricks in the office with Rian Frank giving you that Friday energy on a Wednesday. Big episode. Lots of fun. Great follow up episode from five hundred. Thank you all for the amazing messages we'll shut up now about 500 episodes yeah. but it was really really cool really sweet to see everybody be so supportive it's really you know, nice to see that other people crying at all of our yeah it was really sweet yes extra thank you to all those great people who sent video messages to us yes that was so nice very sweet now we're up to 501 yep. and we have the lovely megan trainer and ryan trainer who are loads of fun just a fun interview fun banter not even really an interview just a fun conversation with she them me up. she's the best and so we'll get into that first not going to be a super long intro because the interview was great you know yeah, yeah and uh we're prepping for a live show so we got us Got to save some of the magic for the stage. Yeah, we, we're not trying to talk too much. But if you are going to our live show tonight, be prepared. Woo. Bring your signs. We love you guys. We can't wait to see everybody. I'm, I'm fucking nervous. I'm really fucking nervous. Yeah, because it's a lot of people. We have not all strangers. We have so many people that so we know coming. Yeah. Friends, yeah. family. Yeah. Yeah, just, mom and dad, you don't have to come. Just if you're so listening. I, I was thinking about just cutting everybody off the fucking list and say stay home because yeah, yeah. I'm not going to be at my best. Yeah. What I'm going to be too did, nervy. Uh, like a parents ban. We're like, none of our, because there it's like, know. they would be like, well, Rhea and Fran's parents are going. But no if I'm like, allowed. no parents no, allowed. Well, I, I can't yeah. do it now. All my aunts are my coming. My aunts are coming. My aunts, uncles. Aunts are fine. No parents. No. Well, my aunts oh. can't come without my parents. Yeah. What? Just kidding. But my Aunt Debbie texted me and said, I, I, Aunt Debbie's ready to This have is Aunt Debbie's a night. fucking Super dream. Bowl. This is amazing. Uh, Aunt Debbie texted me yesterday. First of all, congratulating us on our 500 yeah. episodes. And she said, it brought me to tears watching how much you and Fran have grown and the tight bond you have together. Thank That's you, Aunt really Debbie. really sweet. And then I said, thank you so much. Love you. Can't wait to see you on Wednesday. Yeah. And she said, I am so excited. I feel like a kid that had her wish granted. Oh. <laughs> and I said, I'll make all your dreams come true. Oh my God. That's so She nice. loves... Bar stool. She yeah, loves yeah. sitting office. She. This is her dream come true. Yeah, come yeah. in the show. So as as nervous as I am, it will be a lot of fun. But I just feel like I want to be funny. Like I want to be funny tomorrow night yeah. or tonight when when this comes out. And I don't well, know how to that guarantee that. You say that every time we've locked. We've done a lot of shows now. I don't think I would like. I'm. I would. I can confidently say we've been funny at every live show. Thank you. <laughs> I think you've been funny at every live show. I, I don't know about been, myself. What? You, what? You have been very funny. Thanks. You I was just fishing. For, I was, was fishing for compliments there. You wiggled on the ground. My problem is I don't know what I'm wearing. I don't know oh, what I'm wearing. Yeah. This is a problem that I'm having, and I think other girls can relate to this. Yeah, Fucking you, Zara you to get is my to biggest nightmare, yeah. and my ass is my biggest nightmare, my biggest blessing, because. I can't find bottoms that fit me. Yeah. Pants, I cannot find pants that fit me. I can't find skirts that fit me, shorts that fit me. It is my biggest problem. I am in between sizes in every place I go. It will fit my waist, but it, it's too tight around yeah. my thighs, so I can't walk. Um, it'll fit my waist and my ass, but it's way too long on yeah. my feet, so it's dragging. Well, you have an itty bitty waist. You have to like, you have to like get the waist taken and in. I got it's so fat annoying. thighs, and it, <laughs> like not a no, no, like no, no. not a. No. I'm not putting my thighs down. Yes. Like I just have bigger thighs, and I'm sorry if the word fat offended anybody. I mm. I was more like I didn't mean it in a yeah, in a no, mean no, way. You didn't. Um. But it's hard sometimes when I get a pair of pants that I'm really excited about and I size up yeah. and I put them on and it's discouraging because I can't get them up. And I'm like, what the fuck? Or I'll get them up, like really squeeze and then they're loose around my waist, really, really tight around my thigh. And I'm just like, I, 
I went to Zara yesterday, and yeah, I was Zara in Zara can be an absolute. And nightmare. I was, and I was in a bit of a, of a rush. And this is the problem because now I'm looking. I'm like, what size am I? What yeah, size yeah. am I? I can't figure it out. And I think that they talked about this on Plan Bree recently. I'm like 14 different sizes. Same. All and depending every, on what store. It in is. every store, I am yeah. a different size. At every store. And they talked. I'm about not this. consistent at any single store. It's different across the board. Every store. Even like jeans. Every same. The, whatever. The, I do not have a brand. I yeah. don't have a set size jeans. No. I don't. I'm like, what the fuck. So I saw them talking about this on Plan Bree and I saw Gia talking about yeah. it where she was like, I am not the same size in any no. store that I go to, but for men's sizes, they're all usually around the same size. Right, right. I can't figure out my size for the fucking life to me. So I, I go to Zara yesterday so and I'm in a rush and I'm like, all right, I don't have time to try any of this on. So I'm going to buy two sizes and just return the one that doesn't fit me. So I buy a medium and I buy a large. Medium's way too tight, large too big. There's an, is there any yeah. size in between? Well, I, I think Zara has certainly been known for those. Like there are, there are moments when I go into Zara and, like, depending on the pants, it depends on like if it's one of the pants that's like, oh, they go small, medium, large, or they go, you know, two to two to whatever. this, or they do, you know, twenty on the European scale. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and yeah. Um, doing it by like you know your waist and. It's just like there could be a time when there's like a small, but then it's an eight, but then it's a 40 and not like it's just it's so all right. over the place. And then like on tops are even annoying there, too. Like there's sometimes I'll order a shirt and I'm like, oh, I need like a small and then I'll get the small and it's just like impossible to put on. And then I'm like. Now I've and I have to get like a large. And I'm like, mm-hmm. what's what's? It's, you just never know. You really never you know. never know. And it's I, always uh, depends on what the actual at item Zara, is. I always go bigger. I always get a bigger size yeah. because they so run so small. So their small. their sizes are not realistic at yeah. all at Zara. Like they're gen, they're just not. Like yeah, Zara yeah. needs to fix their sizing because none of it is realistic. And it, I I just don't have an outfit. So we'll see what fucking happens. We'll see what I come up with. I don't know. I'm there's, gonna wear red but lipstick. But, but there's some things in the in the in the works. I have a bunch of stuff that in I bought <laughs> that I could just maybe throw together. Yeah. I also am very I'm not very because I feel like I'm a pretty confident person, mm. but I would say the one thing if I get self conscious about something, it's my arms mm. with in certain angles. I feel like everybody has that one thing yeah, about themselves that they are like a little totally. more and for me it's my arms. I'm yeah. a little more self conscious about them. And especially on stage. Mine's my belly. So I get it. Everybody has There's their always everybody has their thing that they're yeah. like a little yeah. And so on stage, I get a little more self conscious right, with, with my arms and like you know I just like to feel my best and I know that I'll feel my best if my arms are covered. Mm-hmm. It's it, it's more like a winter thing for me. In the summer, I don't get as self conscious about my arms, but in the winter, I really do. I'm mm-hmm. like you just I don't know. Besides the point. And I'm like, I want something that's gonna like fit my arms, like look yeah. good, and you know not puffy sleeves, but like nice fitting. Yeah. I don't want my arms to be showing from a wrong angle, whatever. I'm thinking too much about the arms. Yeah. And so I have every option that I got has no arms. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) So now I'm like, what? One has one arm. So I'm like, I got one arm showing, one arm not showing. It's it's about, I just got to like let that, uh, you know, thing about the arms go and go, hey, you know what? Don't worry about your arms. You're thinking about it more than everybody else is. And you're thinking about it so much when it comes to picking an outfit for the shows where it's like you just, you want to feel confident, but you also want to be comfortable. Like you don't yes. want to walk on a stage and be like, "Oh God!" Like I, I'm not, I'm not paying attention to the crowd. I'm because paying I'm attention to like what people are looking at. Like exactly, that's, that's right. the worst feeling. Like I could walk in here in a tank top and not think yeah, twice exactly. about it. But if I'm, sure, if I'm on stage, sure. I'm like trying to be funny and yeah. I'm like yeah. what does my arm look like from that angle I know so we'll see I'm sure I I'll know. come up it's, with something hey, it's a journey of acceptance for I'm everyone when it comes issue. to like I'm like I've just been like what am I gonna wear no, I'm are you kidding. joking I'm joking yeah. <laughs> was this, I was like I thought that was a nice moment I, know, I thought he was trying to I thought he was like us. gonna sympathize and yeah. he was like no I don't care yeah. anyway <laughs> no <laughs> but it, funny. it's okay you're gonna I'm find something you're gonna look amazing thank you I have the utmost faith in that yeah. happening as as this might sound conceited but i'm confident in that as well yeah like i do like it'll all come together when, when i put it together like i'm always like you yes. put that shit together um it's Process just about like stressful yeah it's just finding that yep. that it uh is. that thing but it'll I be think good a lot of people can relate to that yes it's i think everybody thing. yes um i'm gonna plan on wearing red lipstick good. which i never do 
so we'll see. You thought about it for the last show. You took it off. It was a whole thing. Well, because I did dramatic eyes at the last yeah, show, yeah. which is usually my thing. Yeah. But I'm going to go more minimal on the makeup, more red lipstick pop. Perfect. It'll be fun. I'm excited. I'm going to get drunk. I'm going to get really drunk. I'm going to get I'm going to have very um, drunk. <laughs> I think I'm going to... I don't know. We're getting ready at my apartment, so I was like, I'm going to have Joe make us some cocktails oh, or something. cock me up. Yeah, Not like that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Something. That sounded inappropriate. Yeah. <laughs> cock, cock us up. down, cock, Joe. Cock me up, Joe. <laughs> We're ready to be cocked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Oh, boy. No, it's funny. We're going to have a lot of fun. I'm excited. Um, speaking of Joe, though, we did binge all of White Lotus season mm-hmm. two. On we, I watched the first season Monday, right? We watched two to six. So we're up to date. We're going to discuss it for Friday for weekly watch report. But all I'll say is this season certainly has me more locked in going into the end than the last season. I'm locked in right now. There's so many theories. I wanted to talk about it this episode, but we're going to wait and talk about it on Friday. Yeah. So everybody catch up. So if everybody you're, catch if, up. If you haven't started, if you're behind, if you haven't watched episode six yet, make sure you watch so we can all yeah. talk about it on Friday before the finale. On We're going to go through all the theories. My mom called me this morning with, honestly, my mom surprises yeah. me sometimes. Like I, sometimes I'm like, <laughs> bless you. Bless you. Thanks. Sometimes I don't know how much she's paying attention to things. Not yeah, yeah. going to lie. Fair. She called me with like some, hit me with some knowledge with the White Lotus, like theories that she doesn't read online. Like she's not a go on reddit and look at the white lotus theories yeah. or tiktok or any of those yeah. things i don't she plays games on her phone that's like about it but she hit me with some shit where i was like damn i didn't even put that together yeah thanks for calling and letting me know so we'll talk about that perfect we and Friday's we can both a- assemble some the theories we like the most too because i haven't fully just because i just finished watching six i haven't like fully dove into the yeah. all the theories so i still have I'm to do some research writing them all down for friday okay, perfect so we'll discuss we have a great episode let's yeah. get into it we're going to be talking about the update on the gma anchors and their jobs we're also going to be talking about the holiday update people Ugh. thought there'd be a second not so much a high and a low the sun, man. And Kiki Palmer is pregnant. Beautiful news. And we have an amazing interview with Megan and Ryan Trainer, who are loads of fun. So let's get into it, starting off with the GMA anchors. This year, give the gift of an awesome experience with game time. The holiday season is here. You're given. I love gifts that are live events or events, sporting events, concerts, anything that you can go to together. I think it makes for a great gift. So if you're nervous that your present won't arrive in time or simply forgot to holiday shop, Game Time tickets get delivered to your phone and inbox instantly. Game Time has all the best tickets and you'll get an awesome price on them. If you haven't given Game Time a shot yet, now's the time. We've been using Game Time all year, you know, as of the Jonas Brothers. Um, we've been to a ton of shows. We went to the U.S. Open. Like, game time has been so awesome. We get to go to all these cool things. And um, I know coming up, like, I've had some Eagles games circled that uh, that game time has the best options for. So download the game time app, go to the account tab to create a login, and redeem code CHICKS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. That's, once again, create a login, redeem code CHICKS for $20 off your first purchase. Download game time, last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Good Morning America has benched their anchors for, you know, canoodling. Yeah, and I whatnot. think it's like a lot of things. I think, you know, the behind the scenes of what was going on in GMA, GMA3, that it was getting scandy. And this is now like all being unearthed. And there's a lot of discussions about it. So right after we talked about this with Amanda, it came out that... TJ Holmes and um, no, no, Amy Roback and her husband had already been separated and they are finalizing their divorce. But then there was like people were like, well, no, TJ and Amy have been together for so long. Like I was getting some DMs from people who were, you know, in the know or associated with ABC mm-hmm. over there or something being like, well, we've all kn- known about this for forever. He's a dog. Like this isn't the first time. Man's and a then dog. there's, and then there's been reports that he also had an affair with uh, a producer and that went on for a while. And so now, and people were like, yeah, so no wonder his wife, the theories people were throwing around is like after that happened. And then he started to get into like another one that his wife 
probably hire the PI. Yeah, so this was confusing because I think people had I different... I think that's the most one I think that Yeah, ta- the, they, different takes on it because they were like, all right, if they were both separated from their partners, ended right. up, you know, getting together, they are like, we're in love, whatever, then I think, fine, keep them on air. Right. if that's the case, then that's fine. Right, and the, the ratings went up, keep yeah. them on air, if everyone's cool with it, whatever. Yeah. I think there's some other things Has happening be. behind the scenes or else they would not take them off air. Executives are greedy. Like, they want the ratings, you know, and I bet you, like, Thursday, Friday, it was so high. They're fucking cracking jokes, TJ and yeah. Amy. They're like, what a week, huh? Like, yeah. they're, they're making jokes. And so I feel like if that was really all there was, executives would be like, this is oh, this is kind of like good for ratings. Let's keep them mm-hmm. on. People are interested in their relationship. Maybe we can market this as like, oh, they were separated. Now they're in love. Like it's a love story. Like it's those yeah. those relationships were over. But for them to be taken off, it's like, okay, there There's... are some other things going on. Or people who work on the show were like, could, could be really upset by it. Yeah, um, they could and, be saying they're uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I think that there's some other things happening with TJ where people are like, you know, he was sucking up with multiple women yeah, in the yeah. offices, which then causes a whole other problem. Yeah. So I think I've maybe... Been, I've just been hearing that this has been a thing for yeah. years. So maybe they're taking them off and yeah. they're like, we got to figure out what's going on with this man TJ behind the scenes. Yeah. And it sounds like all the blame's going on TJ right now. But it's right, more just I like think more it was like Amy got the story at like Amy's story of it was like oh her and her husband have separated for a while right but and it's like I think it's just more yeah, more stories are now coming out about TJ we're not hearing totally. more stories about Amy totally. we're hearing more stories about TJ yeah and so I don't know so it's, it's like you had another full blown affair with right. a producer so it, <laughs> it's one of those things where you're like you know personal issues does that yeah. really have to do with their jobs shouldn't you leave them on air right leave them on people get over it in no, two weeks people. Yeah, yeah shit flies by but if there's other stuff going on behind the scenes which i right. assume is what's going on like then effect, really like actually affects affecting other people the, affecting the workplace yeah yeah then probably yeah something needs to be done but i don't really know where i stand because it's on also it because different like it's not like it's one thing if they did separate things like it's like they were both under the mm-hmm. umbrella they're on the same show <laughs> they're you know so it's like they don't have their own shows they're on the same show and sometimes when these topics arise, I feel like people feel like I can't talk about them because of my situation. Yeah. But my situation is so, 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 so different. But people so will just different. lump any coworker situation into yeah, yeah, one. Yeah. But this has nothing. They, well, they are so single people, single people hooking up. Their own thing. And yeah, I yeah, yeah. also dated yeah. somebody else in the office. Right. But there was nothing like this. And no, so it would have been a different. It would have even just been different if you guys were co-hosts you're not co-hosts yeah and and but i feel like whenever this comes up like yeah, i yeah, already I know, I know. had people saying like who are you to talk and it's yeah, like yeah. yo this is a totally different situation totally different not thing. even close and everybody like just because something has happened in your life doesn't mean you can't talk about when it happens to other people right <laughs> but i'm like similar i know i'm so hesitant to like give my opinion totally. on this because i, I, I don't want to hear that I do think, um, oh, I wanted to say that there was, a, I saw TikTok. But once again, this is so different. Completely different. Like, not nobody cheated on anybody. No. Like, I just happened to have dated somebody else. No, but that's and besides the point. Like I said, I think there's multiple affairs situation happening in here. And um, I saw TikTok from an interview of when Reese Witherspoon went on GMA. And it was like Michael Strahan, Robin Roberts, and George Stephanopoulos. And they were like, oh, joking about the next season and coming up with plot lines. And I think Reese had said something like, oh, well, like, is it crazy here? Like, whatever. And Robin Roberts was like, oh, you know, we could, we could probably, or uh, was it Robin Roberts? It might've been somebody else. Oh no, it might've actually been Amy. Mm -hmm. Like, I think it was actually, I think it might've actually been Amy. I'm throwing names out there that I don't know, um, but it may have been, I forget who the third person was. The moral of the story was someone said, oh, I bet we could like come up with some plot lines for you. And George Stephanopoulos was like, he goes, I think we already have. <laughs> so could be saying something yeah. that of the, the length of time. Yeah, George. Listen, if nobody was, throwing subtle hints. If nobody was paying attention to these two, they are now. No, they definitely <laughs> are. It, it de- became massive news. And yeah, I think people were like, well, because it was just crazy. I know it takes a long time and sometimes for things, a lot of meetings, decisions to be made. But it's like they kept them on air for those couple days and then waited for the next week to be like, all right, now they're off. It's yeah. Like, okay. All right. We got Damn. the, we got okay. that boost and now we'll yeah. let them go. Exactly. For exactly. I bet you nobody was watching yeah. on Monday. <laughs> right. We'll see what happens.
eHarmony wants you to discover what real connection feels like. Their app helps you highlight more of your personality so you can meet people who like you for you. I remember eHarmony being the first dating website I've ever seen, all the commercials for it, then all those apps came after. So you know eHarmony has been in the game for a while. Do you feel like your dating profile matches you and really feels like your personality or are you just putting together a highlight, overly curated version of yourself? eHarmony gets to the root, the personality, the person personality quiz is designed to get to the heart of what makes you you so you could show up at as your full self and meet people you are really connected with they get to know you better so you can match better and feel better and actually meet somebody who gets you for you their clever personality quiz and compatibility based approach takes the guesswork out of how to be yourself online you could try it for yourself and start conversations with people you connect with are you ready to move past all that swiping then eHarmony is here for you so start a conversation on eHarmony today you can start free today and download the eHarmony app now People got very, very excited because The Sun and then Daily Mail reported that all four leads of the holiday were signed on for a sequel and Nancy Meyer stepped in and she said, I'm sorry, not true. this is just not true. I just want everybody to feel the disappointment that I felt today, which is why I wanted to talk about it, but... I saw it all over social media, Tuesday morning, Instagram, Twitter, everyone was talking about it. It was like Cameron Diaz, the source, it was, you know, somebody told The Sun, which I guess that was the first mistake, but the sun, it got reshared on the Daily Mail. Um, and it was like, oh, Cameron Diaz is coming out of retirement for acting. She wants to do the holiday and sequel and all. Jude Law, Jack Black, Kate Winslet, Cameron Diaz, they're all in on doing it they're gonna come back gonna it was like there was timing it was like they're gonna film in europe it's gonna be next year <laughs> there were all these details. Like all these details where i was like yes like granted the holiday is a perfect movie in my eyes it's my one of my favorite christmas movies ever and it's like on in that situation it's like it's a movie that doesn't really need to be touched but i think everyone loved those characters so much that even if it just like stunk people would still enjoy it it's great actresses and actors like you're they could come up with something my first thought was oh i hope nancy myers is involved in this because she'll make it good mm -hmm. i know I, I have faith in her to make it good yeah um and then she just stomped on that by his posting on instagram saying like got sent this a lot today sorry not true i was like oh it's a stab in the heart everybody was really upset by this we even posted on chicks in the office and I thought because I, I was like this is gonna go viral like people are gonna freak yeah. out and, and it's the holiday season right now so everyone's watching the holiday people are asked oh what's your favorite Christmas movie people are saying throwing out the holiday they probably got a lot of clicks from this the we were now. spreading a lot of fake news I'm so sad about it I really am. I hope maybe like this will open up the discussions that it <laughs> would that they would do it and but we, I think Nancy Myers is like put the kibosh on that big time like she's like I'm not doing that and it was like Cameron Diaz is unretiring from acting yeah it was massive it was, it was even I'm more devils. it was even more than just the holidays coming back it was like Cameron Diaz is making time yeah. to come back for the holiday I've watched this TikTok a thousand times it's an old interview from Jack Black and it was uh, a girl like did a stitch to it and it has like um, over a million views but it's so funny because it's Jack Black talking about he's like you know I did Tenacious D like I did these movies and he's like and then I got offered a little a little rom-com like a holiday movie it's, it's starring Kate Winslet mm -hmm. <laughs> and, he goes, and he was like the way he talks about it is so funny he's like I mean they want me to be in this movie like she's going from Leonardo DiCap to Jackety McBlackety <laughs> And I was cracking up. Jack Black cracks me up. And I think he would, it would just, it would have been amazing to have that squad back together for a Christmas movie and to see what they're all doing. Of course, they're, the sad thing is, is like Eli Wallach wouldn't be in it because he has passed away. But, and he's like the heart and soul of that movie. In my mind, I yeah, cry. I mean, every how time. old is he when they filmed oh my, that? He was like, very old. Yeah. Um, but this is the thing. Nancy, I trust you to do it, but I think Nancy, you know, she does this all the time with the stuff that she's written or made where like people want a sequel and she's just like, nope. <laughs> no, not happening. But not I happening. Like, that. like the se like I don't think it needs a sequel. No, it doesn't. Like, it definitely just let doesn't. It be a great movie. It I definitely think people doesn't. just like It's exciting. The yeah. But then once you together. watch it, you're like, that wasn't as good. Like 
Yeah. No, it, it, most of the time it never is, but like, it's still exciting. I still think it would have been exciting and people would have seen it. Like, I wouldn't want them to make another Love Actually. It would just be like so corny and like Well, forced. see, this is the thing with Love Actually. You could make another kind of Love Actually style movie. Yeah, but not with the same characters. No, no, no. Well, I mean, now, don't like, you feel like movies? There's too many cast members to do that. I mean, yeah, and some are not here anymore. Yeah, like I just don't think that that would work. But you could make a similar style to like all the different intertwining plot lines. Don't you feel like movies have gotten a lot more cornier? Yeah, I think that is like just the power of the streaming services too. You know, things have just gotten corny. Like all the Netflix, a lot of the Netflix uh, rom com. I've I've just been, I haven't watched any of them yet, but I know like a lot of the holiday ones are just like there was really corny. They're just not the same. There was a new Christmas movie that I was just going to put on for white noise while I was working on Hulu. I forget the name of it. I think it just came out recently. It was the worst thing I've ever seen. Like, I turned it <laughs> off after 10 minutes. I was like, this is unbelievably yeah. bad. Well, it's interesting because like, like, Hulu like and Netflix here, like, have started making... Someone here could probably make something better. No, they yeah. could. <laughs> like, they started to make their Christmas movies or holiday movies kind of like... Hallmark, you know, but where Hallmark, they're just dishing them out. Well, that Hallmark, they they work on Hallmark because they're on Hallmark. Like, you know what you're getting. No, no, I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, like, when I see something on Hulu, I'm like, this is so bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, that was a high and low, and pfft, I still would love to see that happen. Yeah, it wouldn't be as good as the first, but... If that that's the world we live in, everything gets remade. Everyone gets everything gets a sequel that you don't need a sequel to. We had this debate. Why couldn't it be the holiday? years ago? But you guys are both on the holiday train, right? If it compared to Love Actually, I personally like the holiday. I it's think like, remember I watched both of them for the first time. Yeah, I think I picked the holiday. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch them again this year. I'll let you know. Yeah, Love Actually is a phenomenal movie. They're both fantastic. Per Love just, Actually is more like iconic. Just taste wise. I love the holiday. I love the yeah. vibe. I love the cozy cottage. The lo I love it all. I love it all. The music. It's Hans Zimmer. It's a great score. The music in Love Actually is unbelievable. Well, no, the music the in Love Actually is phenomenal, but this is, uh, like, the holiday has a very distinct sound as well. No, like, I the know. Love Actually has it's songs. It's a soundtrack, yeah. Yeah, like, written, you know, like... The holiday score, I should say. Oh, is, I'm going to play some of those tomorrow at the live show. The holiday score is so iconic. And Nancy Myers, I didn't realize she was posting, when I went to look at her Instagram, that I saw, I guess they did it in London. I'm like, could they do that in New York? Some orchestra did uh, a hot, like a performance of the score from the holiday. I was like, oh, that sounds like a That's dream. Beautiful. Do that in New I'm York. I'm going to watch them both this weekend. Dude, They're uh, so good. For the live show tomorrow, you know, we always play that playlist that everyone likes, like the Disney type playlist. And yeah, should, well, I think should, we got to go Christmas. Well, I was going to say, so, do we go full Christmas? So Devin and I meant to talk to you guys about this. We we talked about this. And remember when I was like, I got Devin was in here. I was like, I got to FaceTime Devin because we have to talk to you guys about something. And then our guest came. And so then remember Tyler walked in and, oh. then, and then I never, we never got to tell you what we were thinking. Yeah. We were at the Dozen show. And the playlist was more like, you know, a little more up to date, like Hot 100, like a little bit The Weeknd, yeah. Ariana Grande, like a little more, you know. Yeah, I, people look, love I don't really the, care. People love the Disney stuff. People love the, they love the Disney stuff, but I, I, I would, the other one I wouldn't, I think it sounds, bring a little more hype. It sounds it repetitive. more generic. It like. sounds repetitive to us because we're the ones that are there every time, but like the people aren't there you know right but people like people always ask a like, little what was the playlist like? older like a little more hype all right i guess yeah just, I'll, I'll, i mean no, no, i'm no, gonna I get mean, devin to come down here after this no no, i'm just like like what yeah, i think it needs to be narrowed down a little bit more all or right just we'll like talk, top 40 we'll talk radio after. we can we'll, put on like z100 well no we'll, right, right. we'll talk after it was more right. just like because we were listening to the songs of the dozen dozen and yeah. we were like shit this is like getting well, us hyped look, up and then like we were like, oh, we should tell thing, everyone. Right? Like you, rap music gets you hyped up. Rap music it does not get me hyped up. It wasn't up. <laughs> specifically rap music though. It yeah. was like stuff on the radio. Yeah. Like it was a little different. But I think that like the audiences are different, you know? Yeah, like, no, like they are. Jonas Brothers burning up might get some people hyped up. Right. All right. It doesn't yeah. get me hyped up. Well, actually it does. Burning <laughs> up is a good song. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we'll talk about that after. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. We, there's always room for variety. Yeah. It's just like, what we need to do is... Instead of, because normally it's just like a playlist that is made already, you know? Mm -hmm. We we could curate our own playlist and make it a mix of all those things. It would just take time, but we could do it. But I think we should do Christmas tomorrow, right? I'm down for Christmas. 
Sure. <laughs> you don't. You don't like Christmas, Christmas music. Doesn't get me hyped up to get on stage and fucking Have be a rock star. Have you heard yeah. Bruce Springsteen, Santa, Santa Claus, Claus coming down? How does that? Like, I mean, that, that does that, get me hyped yeah. up, but I need a little other music left mixed in. Yeah, that'll be a green room problem. Whatever. <laughs> but it's like that. We can listen to other stuff in the green room. Not yes. Yeah. 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 Th- thank you for it's just like pl- tu- thank me- you for tuning into this production meeting. <laughs> Meek Mill's like blasting. Before I you never come out. said Meek Mill. I that was not on the. She threw out the weekend, so that was not not. No, close, no, I know, close. I know. Okay, like I said, production meeting. Okay, over. Yeah. <laughs> okay, because we didn't really do topics on Monday, we wanted to make sure we gave a big congratulations to our girl Kiki Palmer. Congrats, we Kiki. love her. She's been on the show a bunch of times. She announced her pregnancy on SNL. Honestly, just bad bitch moment. Like, if you're famous and you get the opportunity to announce your pregnancy in like a really fucking cool way it's just it's so cool like yep. hosting snl is such a power move she had a, her beyonce moment just like beyonce like whipped out the belly she whipped out the belly yep. on stage at snl congrats kiki i think we're it very is, happy for you yeah it was surprising yes. i don't think anybody uh kn- oh well that's not true she made a lot of jokes that i guess maybe the re- people who really are looking closely there's pregnancy rumors and she was like best way to Handle it is just to come right out because you guys are sleuthing and here it is. So uh, she does have a boyfriend. They're not like crazy public in the spotlight couple, but he is, you know, he commented on Instagram as well and posted about it. So just great news. I'm very happy for her. And like I said, phenomenal way to announce it. Yes. Congratulations, Kiki. Holiday season, and you know what happens every holiday season. We remind you about Manscaped. Manscaped has the perfect gifts for the man in your life, whether that be the Performance Package 4.0 or the other things on the Manscaped website. They have something for everybody. The uh, the Performance Package 4.0 has the lawnmower body trimmer. It's the best trimmer on the market for, you know, all those places, not not just down there, the chest, the back, <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> The uh, the ear and nose trimmer. You got to make sure those nose nose hairs are cleaned up. We don't want nose hairs popping out all over the place. And things to make your man smell good as well. They also have the ultra smooth kit, the body wash, the two in one shampoo. Everything you need, Manscaped has you covered. Save twenty percent off plus free shipping by going to manscaped.com/chicks. That's right, twenty percent off plus free shipping by going to manscaped.com/chicks. Cheers to rocking the best gifts of all this season. A gift for him is also a gift for you. All right, everyone, we are here with two very special guests. We are joined by the lovely Megan Trainer and the lovely Ryan Trainer. Thank you so much for joining us. We love to in have you studio. both here in studio. Last time We're was on here. Zoom, and now you're here, this and big, you already talk shit about our studio. You made us switch sides. <laughs> Listen, you're Megan Trainer, I don't know what happened to you, Megan. You're a diva now. I'm a diva. No, I had no idea. I just knew I watched a show, so I was like, "Why are you sitting on this side? This is great for me." And yeah. I was like, "Did my team call you?" And you're yeah, like, "Well, yeah, your good. side issue. I really like this side." Yeah, because uh, this one, <laughs> fun, the nose Hollywood. lays differently, so you'll never see me over here. I will back but you it's up. It's a beautiful one. side. It's She's the, okay. the hair is parted a certain yeah, way. Yeah, I yeah. see all of that. It's the way my nose lies. Yes, yeah, there is a difference. You know, some wrong. people are psychos and they're like, "This one's better," and I'm like, "You're literally symmetrical." But I have a true nose. Watch this. Like this, I call yeah. her Jessica because she's hot. <laughs> yeah. And then this is Sandra. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Jessica the hot name? Because Jessica sounds so hot. Like Jesse, like Jesse, yeah. hot chick. It's me, Jessica. It's me, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh my god, that's such a great is. movie. Yeah, I haven't watched that in so long. We should pop that but on. yeah, you came in. You became a diva last I'm time we were on so Zoom. Sorry. You were way more well, humble. We weren't gonna make a but big deal. Songs my popping off on TikTok. We weren't gonna so. make a big deal about it. We just thought like no one's gonna. No I looked at notice. you too though and was like, "Why are you on that side?" And you're like, <laughs> you were like, "You wanted us on this side." I whispered. You were like, "Did you do this because of me?" And I said, "Yes." yes. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So I hate myself. Um, it's nice though because now really Ryan's beautiful. gonna have the beautiful wall behind him, like in all the shots. <laughs> Your sweatshirt is like popping off with it's the colors. Itchy. Yeah, it looks. I bought this just for you. Yeah, <laughs> and you have a fake ring on. Fake ring, plastic. Yeah, I love that. I broke a nail. Did you play um, Pretty Pretty Princess growing up? The board game. What? 
Yeah, I'm pretty pretty my, princess. <laughs> no. My manager. No, he is. Pretty, pretty princess. Remind me. Pretty pretty princess. Yeah. It was like a board I had two game. Two brothers, bro. We were playing. But manhunt. it was all fake jewelry, and like you could collect surviving. like the rings and the necklaces and the crowns. Yes, 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 yeah. yes. Oh yeah. my god, that's bringing back such a weird yeah. memory. That ring remind me of pretty pretty princess. That's Speaking where I got it. of manhunt, doesn't it kind of suck? Because these days can't play manhunt we because the ring, that. the ring camera, you can't play manhunt. What? Oh, or, or, I, was just or, I thought you meant because like, like life, kidnap, yeah, or just <laughs> like you know the world's yeah, a scary place. Be be <laughs> or like uh, like ding dong ditch, you can't do that anymore because yeah. the ring camera. Ah, oh, that's not. But that's a shitty thing room. to do. <laughs> Sorry, I'm an asshole. Ding dong ditch. That was really bad. I've done it, but yeah, um, yeah, manhunt. I guess it's different. We're, well, we're from Nantucket. Yeah. You like don't lock doors or yeah, cars, yeah, yeah. right? Like you can. Cap- that was the best part capture of our childhood. Capture the flag. You could still play. I, we were big capture the flag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love that game as yeah. well. We did that. It'd be like a hat or something. Stupid. Yeah, exactly. Where you exactly. just hide like a flag. Yeah, each team has a flag. And I hated that game in gym class. It. Oh, mm. it's aggressive. Yeah, like, gym like class. I felt, really I felt like I was going to get gym class. Yeah, I felt like I was going to get like trampled in gym class. That was always my biggest fear. Yeah. Okay. Well, hey guys, how are you doing? How like you guys. Have been so busy, Megan. We're you've been peaking, so busy. We're Album thriving. is everything. We're doing very well. Yeah. Thank you for asking. Um, we're back. We're viral town. all the time. Yeah. We're viral. We're TikTok stars. Yes. Yeah. Um, he just posted one of my son, and it got like six milli views. So babies work. Use him. Use, Use him. Riley. Use him for your <laughs> platform. Yeah. I approved it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Also nuts. dancing to her song. I didn't understand what the potential was with dancing to made you look so I was you like, guys want to go viral like, on this tiktok is stupid. i was like just do the dance yeah yeah so up. she quickly taught me i can't i, I can't, can't dance. dance i can't I, dance either so i feel like i used to be able to dance with tequila mm-hmm. but maybe i still couldn't dance i just thought i could yeah. what about at weddings That's exactly it you broke your no, toe I danced. dancing i danced at uh, jojo's wedding yeah we jumped it was a big like Jump dance, yeah. Like, yeah. It was a Jewish weddings. wedding. It was yeah. amazing. It was our first one, and I was. Yeah. They had the circle. The circle. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Well, that's fine. I got brought yeah. into that. Yeah. That Why yeah. were you at the Target in Jersey City? That's the Target that's I go to. That's a great to. question. <laughs> you ask My managers uh, forced me to go. No. no. <laughs> what was that? It's amazing. It's amazing. No, it was an uh, amazing opportunity. Yeah. Um, me and Chris also were in New York for a big album week, and they were like, "Hey, the closest Target that sells your album." Is in New Jersey. I wish I knew and that like, target right by me. Really? Mm-hmm. It took us a good half hour. We did the drive, forty-five minutes. It was a long. I mean, you had to show them love, and they, they, it was they awesome. were so pumped. It that was you awesome, were there. and we did a bunch of TikToks there. Yeah, and yeah. I got to buy my own album. The targets in the city actually like kind of suck. So yeah. apparently That's, they don't. They do, don't. Like, they're very the, small. They don't have a lot of inventory. They don't do the big. They vinyls, don't do the music stuff. So I had yeah. to go all the way out to Jersey. Yep, yep, yep. But worth it. Right. Definitely worth, worth it. So fun. <laughs> Definitely worth it. Best day of your life. Best so day. I want to wait. I want to ask you guys about the like the TikTok side of this and the dance side of this because yes. I feel like everybody now in the music industry they like joke about either joke or they're serious about people being like you need a song that's gonna pop off on TikTok. Oh, did yeah. you pick? Like, did you know? Like, made you look. This is gonna be the one. No. Yeah. You I mean. never know. Well, I I knew everyone was excited about it. Yeah. And it was like. I had two first singles. One was a slow, sad one, bad for me, about like a um, family member who is toxic and you had to get rid of them. And What's for some mean? reason, the yeah. label the label was like, we love that. And I was like, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, it wasn't about my brother. Everyone thought it was. It was about another one. Oh. Not another brother, but another yeah, yeah. person. <laughs> um, and then I had this other major look. We were like, this is the big one. This is the upbeat one. We'll, we'll put this out with the album and make yeah. a big splash. But you'd never know if it's going to go viral. My first one I posted with it was just me being super hot, working at Australian Idol. And I loved my outfit. It was a black cat suit. And I was like, I'm just going to be hot and try something. And I put it up and it was like, bam, 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 bam. It was going off. Was So is that dance from your brain? No. Brookie <laughs> and Jesse, <laughs> okay. these two UK girls. Amazing. There was a bunch of people doing dances that were cute. But when I saw these two girls do this dance, they looked so fucking cool. Yeah. They had hoodies on and sweatpants and glasses. And the okay, best part was okay, their faces yeah. were just like I didn't not know smiling. Came from. Okay. Oh, I got to show yeah, you the video. Yeah. The original is fierce and sexy. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the best kind of videos. I feel like people look so cool when they're dancing they with like really so cool. baggy sweatpants yeah. and sweatshirts on. Like and they're still dancing. hot. Yeah. I always like, thought that body. It has like the yeah. abrupt move where it's and like then when I was they like, move, I people, can wear a hoodie and look I can't similar. Move like that. <laughs> I did not look cool. Yeah, did not you did not look, look cool. good at all. You look fucked up, uh, but you did it. <laughs> it worked out though. 
They yeah. loved it. They loved watching him. They're like, wow, no musical talent went to you. I yeah. saw you went on Haley Bieber's. I did, bitch. The, the bathroom series. Yep. And you were freaking out. I was dying. And you were like, I'm going to be on Haley Bieber's Instagram. Literally. Did you get to go to that, right? No. No. See, Close look, head. I mean, who 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 gets to <laughs> who invites you? And who no, doesn't? you are the real ones. <laughs> yeah. The best ones. Yeah. He was yeah. like, am I invited today? I was like, you are. Yep, exactly. The office. exactly. How, how was that? It's a set, right? It's not a real bathroom. No, it was massive. It was like a music video. I was like, wow, all the money is here today. Um, <laughs> and it was gorgeous. And there was a thousand people there working. And I was like, wow, I'm a part of a whole movie today. And she like was a TV show. It was a TV show. Yeah. And she was delightful. And I was like, Where'd, who pays for this? You know, it was yeah. that much budget. And she was just so sweet. But I couldn't like... How I'm looking at y'all, I was just like, you're so pretty. You yeah. know? <laughs> she is so I, I would, She's gorgeous. I would just probably, I'd, I'd be like, Haley can you repeat Stanford. the question? Later, I did a mu- multiple times. If you watch that, I was like, I'm sorry, I got lost in your eyes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she's so pretty. It's nuts. Yeah. And, and we ate peanut butter sandwiches. Yep. Delish. And you were on her Instagram. And I won Jenga. Yeah. Big, yeah. big Jenga. Yeah. And I won. And she was like, if you lose, then you have to post me. And I was like, so I win either way. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. Great game. Yeah, this is a great, great, great game. Great, great deal. game. Great game. Yeah. Great game. So, she she won you it. from Rock the Mic. Or not Rock the Mic. What is it? Oh, I Drop doubt the it. Mic. She, Drop the Mic. She yeah. hosted that. And I also... Yeah. Was a winner on that show. You I tied with that. Shania Twain. Well, Roan here used Roan, to write Roan, for the show. Yeah. 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 Roan. Yep. Shout out Roan. Roan. <laughs> Shout you guys out. love Roan, Caleb. Yeah. I went up to him. I was like, Joey. big fan. He was like, dude, your sister can like spit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I did have to adjust a few things. I was like, it's too many words for this one sentence. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, but it was good. She really just stepped up and like. Oh, yeah. I dominated Shania Twain. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you could rap. Yes, I do you rap do, you do, in my songs. I mean, it's a lot of, yeah. yes, it is. Like, all about the bass. It's yeah. like, yeah, it's pretty it's, clear. You yeah. know, it's like a fun. Do you like rap music? I did when it, b- before, you know, yeah. when it wasn't like, huda, woulda, coulda, shoulda. <laughs> I liked, like. Like 50 Cent? Yeah, mm-hmm. I liked when there was, like, a cadence and there's, yeah. like. Ooh, there's a lot this. going on now. <laughs> there's a lot going on. And I'm like, what are they talking about? Yeah. You know? I tried but to show I love, her I love T-Pain. Yeah. I love to paint. Yeah, I don't get that yeet skirt. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I miss rhythm. I do. Yes, that's yeah. fair. That is fair. That I like the when it's rhythm too. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah when you there's like, like a melody. Like in I've it too. played some songs for Fran where she's like, absolutely nope. not. Absolutely. Yeah, not. yeah, yeah. You know, like well, the, I'm just a pop princess. Like I just yeah, yeah, yeah. like that's just where I live, and it's Nelly. not gonna I change. Nelly. Oh. I miss Nelly. 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 Too. That shit was good. I we had like really good rap. Nelly was great on Dancing with the Stars over and over again. Really? Yeah, he was. He was very good on Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, he was. <laughs> that was, was good. a fun time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> very funny time. Yeah. But no, the, the the whole album's great. How long were you working on it? Because it's like it's long. It's uh, sixteen songs. Is <laughs> people what my don't contract dro- says people don't <laughs> drop that many. People don't, but people won't put out that many songs. Um, these yeah, days. my contract says at least fifteen yeah. plus a deluxe. So that's what I had to do. Um, and <laughs> it took. We calculated that it took uh, like around nine months. So it's a full baby. Wow, okay. Yeah, I was, just, I was at home too, so it was great because yeah. I could have baby breaks with my real baby. Yeah, you, know. you have a studio in your house? My basement. It's pretty lit. Is it sick? Tough to leave that it's house. So, it's tough. We I remember when you guys house. were on Zoom and we were like, yeah, this house looks fantastic. You got to come visit when you're in LA. Yeah. Oh we will. Can we ready. film in there? Yes, we have a whole room for our podcasting. Oh, we would Amazing. love to do that. It's so you, big you and see echoey. Like you, your your house is kind of like a, a circus. Like it there's is. always going Music things going on. Yes. You always have friends there. You're filming yes. TikToks all yes. the time. Yes, everyone's welcome. Oh, speaking of, we had Ashley Tisdale on the show. I know. And I'm so proud was, of her. I love her. And she said Afterwards. she was like Megan said that I had to come on your podcast. <laughs> I did tell her. <laughs> Which I I'm, said, bitch, you need to be on podcast. Talk about Frenchie, and I was like, "Chicks in the Office" is a huge one. Go do that; they'll have you. Well, thank I you did for that. that. Because we thank have you. been trying to get Ashley on our show for a while. Yeah. She, she actually, I, really had, I think that's her. what pushed it over so the edge. She denied us years ago. <laughs> so, so when we are, <laughs> she didn't know she was busy working. Yeah, yeah. 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 So when we heard that she wanted to come cool on, girl. we were like. Okay, we would love to have her, but yeah. we didn't think she'd want to come on. She's amazing. Thanks, How Megan. are those mom trips like when you guys are? Everyone was we talking about on that one. one that was like everyone freaked out about. Yeah, it, it's um, it's bizarre. I'm like fangirling the whole time, but I'm trying to act really, really cool. Um, and all of us are just like really tired, hardworking mamas. So when we got there, we just ate. Like we <laughs> ate 
way too much food and we were just hunched over like oh we swam in the pool a little we drank some apple spritzers which i hate but i was trying to be a cool mom and i was like "Mm mm-hmm and like drank it oh the apple spritzers yeah Yeah. i don't like how they taste apple spritz i might have said it wrong apple spritzels i was like okay this is what everyone's drinking yes yes i I really didn't like those for a long time and i came around to them eventually but they're very bitter the bit yeah yeah, I thought it'd be like apple juice, but yeah. it's not. <laughs> What's your go to drink? Red wine. Yeah. And after one wine. glass, I'm like, bye. Yeah. I'm gone. I'm such a lightweight now. It's Same. great. Love some red wine. Fran put me on to dirty martinis because I love olives. Yeah. I love dirty martinis <laughs> yes, in, my, yes. in my day. Yeah. Well, yeah. now yes. we're a sober household. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. husband's yeah. sober because recently he just can't handle it, man. He's just, ugh, he pisses me off. He, well, he <laughs> just, he's great. Wonderful. Love him. But we went no. out, and he, <laughs> he like, is convinced that he can't throw up. He's, like, haven't thrown up he since 02. He, he had a record. He had a record. Wow. Like, that, so, does that count, like, no stomach bug? Nothing. No. He's, wow. like, he's, like, no, my Nothing body can't throw up. And oh I've seen him, God. like, Food really hungover. Anything. I was, like, go make yourself throw up. He's, like, I can't. I won't throw up. And so he went. we went out recently, and he had, like, shots and then a beer and then shots and then a beer. And he came home and threw up pizza in the Uber ride home, in our bedroom, twice in our bed. And I was like, and he was so drunk that I was like, here's your bucket. And he was like, Bleh. And I was like, you're done. He's like, fuck but your bucket. And he was so hungover the next day that he was in shambles. And he's like, I can't be a father and feel like this ever again. Yeah. And so we're in a sober yeah. household. Yeah. And we love it that, that way. That is nice. There's- that is nice. Yeah, it's probably hard to wake up really hungover. Like this past weekend, I woke up extremely hungover on Saturday. And I can't imagine being like, I have to take care of a child. A right child. Now. Yeah. Like I can't even, I can't take care of myself. Yeah. I can't even eat a breakfast right. sandwich. I it's can't get lot. into the shower yeah. so what am i gonna do for my baby i don't get keep a baby alive yeah. Yeah. single yeah. parents are heroes walking among us yeah because i the amount of times that me and daryl split it up of like you get him now you know mm-hmm. is just life-saving yeah it's life-saving i can't poop i, like, <laughs> I have to be with the kid <laughs> yeah. like, i gotta poop you take care of him i got you know yep. mm-hmm. your awesome. your kid cracks me up he's with a star. the glasses and everything. He's, he's like he's just, he's just, he's just so looks so like delicious. he looks like a Pixar character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah. Like not really a cartoon does, character, but he looks no, like, like he, Garth the red hair. Because cartoon like doesn't do it justice. It's like he he's like a little he, the next like Pixar movie could be yeah, could about be him character. and he would be the star. <laughs> like Luca. Yes. 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 Or Coco. Delicious. Yes. Thank yes. you. I want four of them. He started saying words and it's Yeah, now he says Right, It is the when greatest Rai Rai feeling of all time. I'll come from the guest house and I see him at the sliding door and he's just like, Rai Rai. Oh. Oh. And now when I FaceTime, he goes, hi, mama. And I'm like, oh, oh my God. Do you think you're going to like get him into acting or anything like that or just see what he wants to do? Um, Yeah, me and Daryl talk about it a lot. Uh, we want to put him star. in like, oh, he's a star. Uh, we want to put him in like child stars in his jeans ballet and like cool shit like that yeah. that you want to think of you know um, in sports obviously we're going to homeschool him for sure you said ballet and then you were like yeah. uh, in sports you're, by the way we're putting him in sports you're, you're, <laughs> I'm looking at it like ballet yeah, yeah, you're, you're like okay ballet your, we didn't talk well, about Darryl this Daryl took ballet and he loved it yeah. and he mm-hmm. like raves about it he was like that was the coolest part of my childhood you're never letting Besides your kids, kids out of your house huh? no <laughs> I built them a whole preschool up in my attic and it is so yeah. lit it's better than all the preschools in LA I'm telling you right now I'm going to be the future like PE teacher a trainer PE teacher. Oh my God. what if somebody like a put, like, flyers to come to the trainer other preschool. you know mom that you know is like hey what if my kid comes over to your house and then they could do school together oh I have five kids in the class really already Yes. <laughs> the trainer academy. It's a tough list. The trainer honest. academy. It's a hit list. Trainer hit list. It's a hot list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not a hit list. No. The kids. It's a hit. The I'm kids are. It's a hit. The kids are safe. Jesus Christ. Uh, what kind of sports are you thinking? Oh, like, are you a sports at, fan? I guess. Nah, no. sports. You, you know, sports I played. Up. I played sports. I played football. I played baseball. You didn't want to play softball. baseball. You played. You played baseball instead of softball. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> and football. And football. You played My all the boys with the yes. cheerleaders. Yeah. I had two brothers. I was like, well, yeah. I want to be on their team. I don't want to be on their yeah. you know? okay. So there yeah. you go. So, whatever. Have a basketball court, a little, yeah. little B ball. Yes. Yeah. We're fortunate enough to have a basketball court. You took court. him mm-hmm. to. <laughs> did you did take you, him to did, Disney? <laughs> Is that something that just happened? Yeah. You well, I had a gig there. I okay. did the Disney. What? Disney Christmas special? Yes. And um, I sang two songs at like four in the morning. So we got up at two in the um, morning. Okay. And then we were like, well, we're never coming back here for a long time. So might as well go to Disney. Yeah. Because it's a far drive for us. Yeah. And um, so we went to Disney all damn day. And I was like delirious. And we got some TikToks. I kept my glam on. Yeah. Took some pics with some fans. And. 
my kid could not care less. Yeah, yeah. He didn't give a He's still too fuck. young, I think. Yeah. Right? Too young. Like, I just yeah. put him on the the elephant ride. Yeah, didn't Dumbo. Care he was like, <laughs> the elephant ride. The whole time. I Dumbo. always say, <laughs> you know I'm, that flying elephant? Flying, What's his name? It goes around and around. I'm not bringing my kid to Disney until they can remember. That was it. my I'm not, rule. I'm not bringing my kid to Disney. Why? Why? But it was like, it was like, like oh, mine oh, as look well. at their reaction. They you know, don't they're not going to remember until they're at least five. And when they're five, they'll forget. Yeah. My parents took us to Disney at like when we were. Three, five, and three, four, and five, or whatever. Had no idea. No idea. When I was like ten, I was like, "Mom, when are we gonna go to Disney?" She's like, "What?" We I know, win. I know. Yeah. I, 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 I wait till they're ten. My <laughs> parents did the same thing. We went like a bunch of times when we were really young, and the only time I do remember was like kindergarten. I actually have some memories from going in kindergarten, but my memory is like running into one of my friends from school who I didn't know was going to be there and just like being Trauma. excited to see her. So it's like has nothing to do with Disney at all. It's yeah. like, oh, well, remember that time? we? Well, I saw Maura there. Like, that was cool. Yeah, <laughs> I, I always say that my parents never took me to see Santa because I'm the last out of three kids. Okay. And they're like, yes, we did. I'm like, no, you didn't. And I have still yet to see pictures. <gasps> yeah. So I think that it's one of those things where they're telling me they did because they know that I won't be able to remember right. from a certain like point. The pictures are nice. You go, you can see that you go look at the pictures of you with the. Same I had like a I have anyways. a Disney mm-hmm. autograph book from 2000, which is cool because it was like the et- 2000, change. Yeah. And I got all the character signatures. And then I've told this wow. story. I've told this story before. At the end of the book, I found it like a few years ago and was mortified because my. I guess I must not have used all the pages and maybe I was upset it didn't fill all the way up. So like the last couple of pages, my parents wrote me like really and really nice notes from the two of them. It was like, Jessica, like we love you, number one. Like so cute. And it is, it's scribbled all over. <laughs> like it's like completely crossed out. You got like, pissed it's, at like, them one I day. I must have got pissed that they like ruined my autograph. Wow. <laughs> my and, like, but you can faintly, Spoiled, you can like faintly see their messages I underneath still. Daughters. And it's like so <laughs> nice. <laughs> Those are so ruthless. Just had no idea though. You just don't think about that stuff as yeah. a kid. Yeah, I'm no, like, you're just like, what the hell, mom? Yeah, <laughs> you ruined my book. book. You mentioned basketball court. I just want to go back to this really quickly. Yeah. You mentioned basketball court. Did you have to decide between a basketball court and a tennis court which one you wanted? It was, mm. it was already Rich there. Rich people, people problems. problems. I just, um, I, no. I, I was already there. But it was already there. Was thinking but about this the other day, I was like, do rich people have to think about which court they're no, going to go no, with? No, you no, could also no, have both. I, <laughs> Um, my mom is a huge um, pickleball fan. Yeah, pickleball. Yeah, is yeah. So for Christmas, big. she always gives us for Christmas. She'll give us like one big gift that we can all play with, like as a family. And she's announced to us that this year she's like, "I'm making a pickleball court." And we're like, yeah. "How are you going to do that up there?" I guess they're supposed to be small. I have they're no small. Idea. You can do it. We split it's the court so in half. Yeah. Yep. Half pickleball, mm-hmm. half basketball. You can definitely do okay, it. There's, so, see, my question was kind of valid. It's kind of valid. yeah. There's, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's plans. Very valid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they put there's like. Um, on the basketball courts outside downtown in the city, there is one bunch bunch of them now have pickleball little areas. Pickleball yeah, is yeah, hot yeah. in the yeah. streets right now. It really now. is. It All really the dads is. from the mom group I'm in are like pickleball Sunday. You know? Oh yeah, they go do that. That's nice. it is. I see a lot of people playing pickleball these days. Somebody said, "Because uh, my grandpa's 85, he plays tennis every day." Someone was like, "Why don't you introduce him to pickleball?" I was like, you th- "He's 85 and he plays tennis every day. You think I'm introducing him and, to something and, new? And the, and like, you think rules, he's just yeah. gonna pick up pickleball now? The like, rules are like, like some of the rules are kind of every confusing. day. He's not picking up pickleball. I gotta learn. And he's from really scratch. Italian. Speaks like yeah, like but I'm real he's not, not It's I'll like the good. scoring's funky. Yeah. I've like watched my parents play. I'm like, why? Why do I like not understand pickleball? <laughs> Where were you born and raised? New Jersey. Both of you, Long New Island. Oh, but do you tell people New York? No, I say Long she Island. She pointed and said New York. Well, it's I Long always Island, say New Long York. Island, New York, because New York. I, I feel have like a friend from like the city, but like, I just say Long Island. I have a right. friend from or Long upstate. Island, and she only she, New York. I'm from New York. I'm like, what's wrong with Long Island? No, I have no. no she's people have problems proud. with Long Island. I have no. Pro- I you're love see, Long you're Island. laughing. There's no, no problem no, no, no. being proud you're from Long laughing, Island. Bro. No, she is because you know what? I got pissed the other the day. The giggle was because of the the picture. Okay. That's well, why. the giggle was be- that it was not because of Long Island because you know I'm also a proud New Jersey and I started. I like no, 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 now no. I need I like to tell it. the background yeah, story. Yes. <laughs> that was a background story. story. That was like an inside joke giggle that I now regret. Okay, but. so my boyfriend and I are both from Long Island. Love it, but we live in Jersey City. Love it. I'm not like an art person, you know. We were trying to decorate the apartment. I'm not an art person. Same. So I was kind of struggling on what to put on the walls. Mm. I was looking online at like pictures and stuff and I saw a picture of maps, different maps. And I was like, the the color of the old rustic map kind of matches the color of like the couch, the table, whatever. And I was like, you know what? What if we got a map of Long Island? Cause we're both from Long Island, but listen, people will laugh and they'll make fun of us, but it will also be funny. Like people yeah. will come over and be like, 
oh, you guys have a map of Long Island, and it'll be kind of funny, but also it'll fill the space. So the map came, and they were judging me already about the Long Island part of it. And so I was already thinking I'm well, going to have to like a, It was new. a joke with our coworker as well because she was like, guys, I have to show you something. I got a map. And as a joke, our, our, our Kelly, who does Bachelor stuff with us, Kelly goes, what is it, Long Island? <laughs> she was like, And they're all from uh, Jersey, yeah. though. So I'm like, you guys are real, whatever. So the map comes and I realize it is it also has Staten Island in it. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> now I definitely can't hang it up. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Long Island's fine. Staten Island, we're now crossing yeah, a line. Yeah, yeah. But then another guy we work with, was like, why are you guys talking so much about Long Island? Like, he only kept hearing the word Long Island. And I was like, oh, I li- you know, I'm from there, whatever. And he was like, well, I live there. It's a horrible place. And I was like, it's really not that bad. And he was like, well, it's really lacking in some things. And I was like, isn't every place lacking every in some place. things? Every place. And they were like, not really. And I was like, okay, not just Long Island is lacking in things. Every place is lacking in things. Period. So I will proudly say I'm from Long Island. Yeah. I had a nice That's upbringing. That's where we were from. The giggle was from because be of the map. Fucked up, you yeah, know? Yeah, so can Long but Island. But people were like, but, what, yeah. vacation land? You, you had the best childhood. I was like, yeah. we Nobody saw some was dark Nobody was there in the winter. <laughs> exactly. Nobody was there. We saw the a lot of suicides. Yeah. It was a dark place Nobody to be. Nobody was there in the winter. There's nothing to do. A lot of people drink at a young age. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we wanted to talk about that on your show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, we came here today. <laughs> we'll unpack all of our childhoods. yeah, all of our trauma. Um, but he the he also he winters. noticed a lot of friends around his age right now, like late twenties, um, are are calling him because he's sober now and being like, "I need help. How'd yeah, you yeah. do it?" Um, and we know a lot of your listeners are that age group, so mm-hmm. ask for help. Yeah, because Ryan mm-hmm. did, and now he's thriving. Yeah, if you even have like the slightest hunch of like I might have a problem, you probably have, you a, have problem. a problem. Yeah, uh, and that's all right because everyone it's fine. does. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and yeah, quitting stuff, but it's definitely it's possible. And I like this thing of like people come up to me and they're like, you, you don't have a vice. You need a vice. I'm like, nah, you don't really need one. Yeah. At first it was like nicotine and that just made yeah. me feel fucking worse. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah, that was, was just like, up because you're letting something go. Yeah. 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 Uh, just coffee. Try to pick up you play video exercise. games. I feel like that's a nice, like, <laughs> yeah, right? that's a nice vice. Yeah. Yeah. Video good games. Vice. It's a good time. Um, yeah. Video games and working out. He loves. Yeah. Those are two more good things. Great ones. Yeah. They're definitely very good. You're ones. not like I, well, I I stopped drinking, but I picked up gambling. You right, right. Yeah, no, I only gambled because I was drunk. <laughs> yeah, See, there was a gambling problem too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> was a lot of sometimes because those come hand in hand. Yep, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> for sure. Um, well, on a happy note, yeah, it's we're going into the holidays. You rock yeah. the Christmas songs. You are always crushing. Thank you know, you. you have your Christmas album. It's been released, deluxe edition, the whole thing. Everybody can listen to it again going into the season. What is the holidays? look like at the at the household oh uh, like is your house decorated, decorated the yeah. Decorated, yeah yeah my mom How big and is i tree? do it it's pretty fucking of, big i just got a new one this year real or fake yeah rough fake okay. come on thank yeah. you come thank on you. it's you exhausting go thank you, you. Even real foot real tree probably, you can yeah, yeah. probably <laughs> down the street there's, there's, there's spots some. in the valley like okay but they're little yeah yeah i got a seven footer and i looked at it and i was like this sucks light a candle put it in my bedroom light a candle smells like a tree not big enough i have a real tree and i love it Good for you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you. I had a fake one growing up my whole life, so I'm a fake tree person. We yeah. had we real had ones, real. but we saw well, like, how messy miserable. it was. Yeah. He was miserable, and it would just leak everywhere. Yeah. Well, I'm in an apartment, so like I can't go crazy. I can't have like an oh, eight-foot like, real tree. tree. I have like a six-foot kind of six skinny. Foot's still big, She's though. Massive. She keeps size. Right. You six put her foot, in the elevator? Six-foot, it's small. Yeah. The tree is size, size of me. She yeah. But 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 she's thin. She's not skinny. Yeah. Go for you. So she so <laughs> it fits in the corner nicely. But yeah, the day after Halloween, I put it up. I put it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's me. I'm gonna. I. I. I uh, Thanksgiving skipped over. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. We eat Thanksgiving with the tree up and everything. How I early does like Christmas that. music yeah. come on? Uh, my husband's been popping it off really okay. re- uh, recently. He plays me, and then once other December ones. hits, that's when you can start playing. Yeah, songs. December's yeah. reasonable. Megan Trainor's album, Very Turner Christmas. Very Turner Christmas. Exactly. Also, I have a song with Pentatonix out right now. Oh yeah, called cool. a kid on Christmas. What a tune that is! It's a great that's tune. a great one. They always that screams Christmas. Yeah, they crush at Christmas. Yeah. They're yeah. on a Christmas tour right now, and they're like in arenas. Yeah, just killing it. Exactly. And your acapella. I have an acapella version. Is Did they send out. it to you? I have not heard it. No. Oh my god, you're gonna love it. I'm excited to hear it. Love it. And we a did new a music video, video and everything. Yeah. It was so cute. My little boy's in the video. He kisses me on the Aww. mouth. So cute. 
He doesn't really have a choice that he's going to be a star. He's just like, no, yeah, she throws just, him into every That's what I'm saying. Like, he's just, he's so we, so had, we had a talk when I was pregnant. Par- Are we going to show this ma- kid or uh, hide him? What was the magazine? People magazine. The cover. Yeah. Parents. parents and that. Sorry, there's so many. I'm thinking of parents. <laughs> yes. Sorry, I've been on so many one? magazines. I was thinking of the parents where, where I was like, you yes. have got to be kidding Oh, he was a yeah, star. You probably um, saw him and you were like, how do we hide him? Well, so here's the thing. I was like, we had a big talk of like, do we show him or do we hide him? My dad is older and he's so bad at like, he was bad. He's been better at like post, posting stuff. Like he posted I was back to blonde before anyone knew and he posted a full outfit right so he's like posting your baby's face yeah, on Facebook I was like dad that outfit still has pins in it yeah. so I was like this will be very hard to hide a whole person Yeah. so if he's pretty I'm gonna post him immediately and I told my friends you know if he's a cute baby you'll see him online the next day I was like Bruh, here he is how yeah. gorgeous is he and the first thing I said when I saw him maybe he's a c-section baby maybe that's why he was so gorgeous you know it came out perfectly Perfect. shaped <laughs> um, but I was like Oh, he's perfect Winnie Moore. That was like the yeah. first thing I said yeah. when I saw him. Because he was in the NICU at first, it was socked. But he's okay. Yeah. Now, what does Christmas look like for him? You guys go all out, like all Yeah, the we presents. get like, I now that he has like no say, you know, because he's so young, I force him in the cutest outfits I could find. I'm really looking for a reindeer outfit. I cannot find one. Uh, men, b- the boy outfits just aren't as cute as the girl ones. So yeah. I'm on the hunt. Um, yeah. Um, but I have a few options, and we do a photo shoot at home. Ryan takes the pics for us, and so ready for round two. A baby um, photographer now. Yeah, yeah. you can do it all. You can do it all. Many, yeah. you have many do. jobs. Many yes. jobs. Yes. And we many talked jobs. about this the last many, time we were many hats. On. Yeah, many yeah. Hats. Ryan wears many hats. The camera. Yeah, consultant sometimes. He's my hype guy on this trip. Honestly, and he yeah. does the podcast with me. I like that you just it, it's very it's getting warm in here at the I'm studio. Fucking it's cooking. Fucking it's fucking hot. Shirt, but I'm acting chill, the but I'm sweating. Off, and now you have the Harry Styles Styles. Tour. Oh, yeah. You guys went Harry's to a show. Guy. We're best friends with Harry Styles. Yeah, I, so. yeah. that's pretty yeah. cool. It's pretty iconic. Well, I, I are, are almost every watching? show. I mean, my favorite moment. Every show I went to, like I Chris was at every show. Yeah, 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 yeah. like every show that so I went to yeah. was like a it was like a thing people so would freak out when Chris would go to his seat. <laughs> my managers manage Harry Styles. That's why we're brother and sister. Mm-hmm. And um, Chris is my new bestie, and so they've made friends. Obviously, with my managers. So they were like, Chris, you let us know any show you want to go to. Yeah, that motherfucker picked every show. He was used every. I show. was like, Chris, that's embarrassing. Stop going to every single damn show. <laughs> He's like, I'm going every night. But, but like, he okay. went viral. He had the sign. It was worth the it. Yeah, he signed. Yeah, everything. it was worth it. Like, he did, he did it. He it. won. He's like, finally. That you like did the show. TikTok with Chris where you guys yes. had him call, who was it, a- Abby, right? Her name? Oh, what am I blanking? Oh, Abby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. His and sister. Yes. And uh, he was like acting like he was in trouble. Like you were making him say things and she was like freaking out. Oh, yeah. We did the headphone Yes, game. yes. Oh. Y'all got to do that. That was, yes. we did. That was That's honestly great. one of my favorite TikToks. Oh, my God. That I one? Watch it. I watch it back a lot. I was, I was oh, on yeah. the other, I was on the other end of one of those um, oh, my, really? my sister also works here on a different podcast and they did it and she called me and I within like three seconds I, I was like you is knew. this the freaking TikTok like she was yeah, like yeah, yeah. hello yeah I knew no yeah. one on my team would believe no. it no I'm like alright Gia like yeah. I know this <laughs> <laughs> we have to do it because right, we all watch right TikTok through, yeah. so we know the trends yeah exactly but I did the one recently I'm gonna post soon some drafts where like it, it shows that your eyes are closed and you're like yeah Guess what number I'm mm-hmm. holding up? I did it with my dad, and he was pissed off. He was like, "God damn it, you're cheating!" And yeah. I was like, "No, I'm not." That's the perfect person to do it yeah. with. You have to do it with someone Old who people. is not yeah. on is on TikTok. You, you and Chris were together all the time. Is all this? Time. But you knew each other already. Like, <laughs> right? We grew up together on yes. Nantucket. Right. We hung out every summer on Nantucket, yeah, which yeah. is out there. now I'm picking up. <laughs> That's my best good That's friend. That's incredible. Yes. Did you actually We're the believe same that? age. Totally. Shut up. Oh. He's my best good friend that we met on Nantucket. True. Um, and then we rekindled our love um, through TikTok. And he he was posting on Instagram one night. I wonder what Megan Trainor's doing. And I was like, loving you. Hi. And then we did the podcast together. I've got to say, I think a lot of people do believe that story. Well, it's true. So yeah. Besides the fact that when saying. I brought him up before, you said my new best friend. Because <laughs> yeah. we're best friends now, I guess. Yes, yes. Yeah. I thought it was like yeah. a rekindling. We were friends back then. We weren't best. Can we go back to the Harry Styles thing for yeah. a second, though? You guys met One Harry? of my proudest moments a multiple was times. right in the beginning. <laughs> um, we account. went to her agent. Jeff was your agent at the time. We went to his birthday party in like yes. 2014. That's when I first 
Matt he, Harry? Uh, Harry and Hilary Duff. And Adele was there. Ooh, I was eating tacos with Hilary Duff. I was like, I can't believe no one's seen this. She's like, it's yeah. fucking delicious. Yeah. And, <laughs> but Harry She's goes cool up girl. to me and he was just like, your sister's the most talented artist I've ever You didn't tell with. me this. I told you this. No. <laughs> he was like, the way that she comps vocals and like oh, works did write in together. the studio blows my mind. He was just like going off, just raving about you. I was like, oh my God, you're Harry Styles. <laughs> you're Harry Styles. <laughs> That's this is awesome. crazy. Yeah, we did a session together a long time ago. When bass came out, he was a fan of that. So he wanted to write with me and I was like, <gasps> and I wrote the whole song pretty much, but I pretended I didn't. And I went in and was like, what do you think about like this? And performed <laughs> it and he was like, That's perfect. Yeah. And then we like wrote the verses mm-hmm. together. He's as cool as advertised. Oh yeah. I mean, I saw, cooler. I wish you were at Coachella. He's only me. gotten yeah, more and more famous, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. I went to his after party with uh Chris and <laughs> not Olson, Pepe, yeah, yeah. our manager. Yeah. And uh like in the beginning of the party, he was like Oh, it's good to see you around. You want something to drink? I was like, oh, no, I'm sober now. And then um, he, at the end of the night, when I was saying goodbye, he was just like hugging me. He was like, I just want to tell you I'm so proud of you, mate. And I was like, what the oh, fuck? Good guy. Oh my God. He's a good guy. He saved my dude. life. Oh. Like, that was He's a, a good guy. Great That's moment so nice. for me. He that sent me. Really nice. Nobody knows this. Exclusive. But he sent me flowers <laughs> 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 on my album release week. He did. That's so nice. This past I October. I literally wanted to throw up. Yeah. yeah. I, I bet so, you I was crying. Taylor Swift flowers. <laughs> <laughs> and there was like a card of like oh my, congrats on your album like I hope you have a great album release week and I looked at my manager Tommy and I was like did you get him to do this and he's like I didn't do anything this is all him and I was like that's that so, so nice. he's a good guy he's a good best friend I good feel guy. like you follow the, or do you follow like a lot of pop culture what's going on like you see the drama or anything <laughs> like that do you follow that I mean, stuff if my no? mom sends me a Twitter, yeah, thing. yeah. Mom is, mom <laughs> my mom is, TMZ is a house. yeah. So like my mom every is day she comes out. She's like, she'll oh my god, did you see this thing? Did you see this? Did you see? I was like, no. no. Did she bring it's up incredible. any of the drama that was going on with Don't Worry, Darling? Oh, well, we heard did a bunch of that. Yeah. I mean, that was, I loved the movie. I loved the movie. I loved it. We had a private screening of the movie. I loved it. My job. We loved the movie too. I loved it. We also loved the movie. We're like, I don't understand why people are in love. Like in this movie, I it's think the drama, drama is like, too drama famous. They're too famous. It they, it all when up. you yeah. get really, really famous, like I'm, I'm getting like more successful again. And once you get like a little more heat, you'll get hate as yeah. soon as you get right. there. It's just it comes with it, and there's yeah. nothing you can do about it. Um, it just means you're like the most famous person alive. You know, the more they hate yeah. you, yeah. which he is. So I can't, how, I can't imagine. Like, watch, there's going to be hate. articles <laughs> written after this that go, Harry sent Megan flowers. Yeah, I bet yeah. you a thousand bucks. Yeah. And I want that thousand bucks. Thousand, <laughs> thousand bucks. I want to see it. It's like a thousand bucks. Okay. Just because yeah. if you say his because name, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. feel like you're the Poor perfect kid. amount of famous, though. It's not like too oh, it's much. Great. It's not I can go in public. She can go all the time. places mm-hmm. and not. When I don't have makeup too, and I don't have hair, because uh, none of this is mine. Yeah, it's all fake. I'm balding. Yeah. Um, <laughs> people are like, God, you have the same name as Megan Trainor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, wow, she's so pretty. And LA is chill because like fucking everyone's famous. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's funny now when we go somewhere, we went to like San Fran, or where, where was the ghost hunting thing? Sacramento. 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 And the lady comes up to you at dinner and she's just like, oh, I'm a big fan of your TikTok. There <laughs> like, you go. I'm like, I don't think she fucking knows I went to the saying. mall the other day and they're like, yeah. I literally did the dance this morning. And I was like, my TikTok dance? Yeah. That's like, oh my God, that's you're amazing. such a big TikTok. That's, why, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why TikTok is so funny. Like, and getting that viral song is so huge. I, you know who's so funny on TikTok? I don't know if you see his videos. Is Louis Capaldi? Oh, I adore him. Okay, yes, and I, I die adore like his TikToks. all of his TikToks that are like just trying to have another viral song and like Dude. I'm gonna hate my song. <laughs> he <laughs> is the greatest. I think he's the most brilliant artist out there right now. He is just because he's a comedic genius. Yeah, yeah, in person, I see videos he's just of like him like too. cracking jokes on stage at his concerts. I'm like, this is a full blown comedy. She's just yeah, dropping comedy. F-bombs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. this fucking fuck, fucking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, whoa. no, he's the greatest person ever. He's so funny. He doesn't follow me on TikTok and it pisses me off because I message him. No him and Joey come like, I'm so yeah. alone. And I'm like, Joey, you better fucking follow me. Yeah. But Lucy's is like, I'm so alone. And I was like, I'll be yeah. your friend. You guys would make great you. TikToks together. I would. I would take care of him. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll put that out there. Please, if you get to interview yeah, maybe him. Maybe he'll yeah, see we'll this. We'll put that out there. Come on, Lewis. We'll put Lewis. it out there. Add him to Lewis, the list of people that you to I'll go to the gym with you. He hates the gym. Yeah. Same. Yeah. <laughs> he's so cute. He's like, I'm back in fucking hell. Yeah. Like, he, he's gonna, <laughs> if you work he's out with him, though, he's going to hate you. Your workouts Why? are tough. They're so My hard. workouts are brutal. I die in these workouts. I have a new trainer. She's amazing. Rebecca. She's Check her out. Her body's wonderland. Yeah. It's my inspiration every day. I'm like, I will look like you someday. 
That's exactly what you need when when yeah. you pick a trainer. You're like, if you, yeah, oh if my you God. figured out of me, if you figured out yeah. how to do that, yeah, yeah, yeah. do that. <laughs> Share, to me. yeah, yeah. Tell, great. tell me. So, wow, that's crazy. What else is going on, guys? You guys are. I'm trying to make a baby. Okay, I want four. So active, active. actively, active. Active. as much Viciously. as possible. No, um, <laughs> my dad asked my, my sister if she was trying the other day. Didn't go. Yeah, over I well. announced it, it did, in the house. Did not go over well. Oh really? But, well, with but my sister because she's not. And, uh, not know. trying no I think I think I don't know I don't know if they are but oh. my I think my sister was just like why are you asking me this <laughs> my dad was like I don't know oh. are you trying <laughs> I, I, yeah I announced it to it the would house. be their first go, we're trying you know yeah, yeah. It's a so yeah. you're like when don't I, knock when I, I am like pregnant they're gonna be like that ah. yeah yes. I'm very open I'm like I'm pooping you yeah. know yeah 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 we're exactly. having sex yeah 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 I'm like leave us alone Ryan you know when not to enter the house yeah. <laughs> well, we're respectful. It's, we do it at nighttime. Yes, you know? that's mm-hmm. fair. We do it in our own private time. Yeah. We don't announce like when. Four kids is your dr- dream number. Dream. I'll talk to you after two. So <laughs> I, know, yeah. Yeah. Like, Just I was gonna say you could you could add one more. You could have the full the full basketball team. Yeah. So I'm trying true. to build a. I have a bad feeling I'm gonna get all boys too, which is fine. But you, you grew up with you brothers. Give yeah. me like boy mom. Boy mom. I'm a boy mom. Total boy mom vibe. Yeah. So like I, I could want one little princess. I could see. Yeah. Well, be a maybe monster. you'll do three boys <laughs> and then like one little princess. If I get three boys back to back, I'm gonna talk to a doctor about yeah. like how can we make a girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Babies. How do we make sure? That <laughs> how do we make sure <laughs> they can do that? They can. With so much money. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Well, you have a You're rich. Court. Yeah, Daryl. We talked about. It. He's like, I want to play God. I just want to make babies. Drew Barrymore show tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> Check it out. Oh, we'll, we have we'll to go have to, to rehearsal. Oh, oh, I thought you were going to announce it. Oh, oh, oh check no, it out. No, you can't talk about. I'm a, guys, hey, co-hosting. we just went. To she just did our 500th episode. <laughs> I saw that. So Congratulations. She that was so cool. Thank you. The sweetest human the being, being ever. to walk this yeah. earth. Right? A delight. She is. No, a delight. I kissed her on the mouth when I went on her show because I, I was like, no one else could say this. <gasps> That's right? awesome. Should have kissed her on the mouth. Oh my god. She rubbed Rhea's arm. She was petting my arm. It's all I wanted. It was like she's like the most comforting thing. Just giving her like one of these, like, oh, honey, like. That's yeah. sweet, but you got to kiss her on the No, back. she kept bowing down at me, and I was like, get up here and kiss me. Yeah. She did, and I was like, kiss me, toots. Kiss me, toots. <laughs> she she said, um, she made a joke on her show <laughs> like about a dream. liking to throw, she's like, she. they were playing like Never Have Ever. It was like, have you ever thrown a drink in someone's face? The other people were like, oh. no. And she was like, I actually have, and it's great. So we made a TikTok where great. she threw um, a drink in Noah's face, and it was oh, phenomenal. Noah. Wow. Yeah. Legendary. Yep. But yeah, but no one else can say that. Exactly, like, like he'll have it forever. forever. <laughs> he'll have it forever. Oh, that's great. Exactly. All right. Well, everyone can watch you on the Drew Barrymore show. Yeah, I'm co-hosting <laughs> and I'm singing "Made You Look" on there. Amazing. Yes. December twelfth, December twelfth and thirteenth. And catch me Friday the 9th, Your "Made You Look" acapella. How do you know this shit. It's not even written down. It's in down. my brain, babe. It's in my Yo. brain. Oh. It's in my brain. Five hundred episodes. Yeah, yeah. That's w- that's why <laughs> we've done so many episodes. Yeah. Um and. It's the holiday season, so make sure you're listening to Megan's Christmas album. Yes. 100 per- queen. I think, like, when you people curate their Christmas playlists, just make sure there's some Me. Megan songs in the rotation. Yeah. Make sure I'm there. Yeah. Singing to you at home. There's some good ones, and for she, sure. Wow. And she kissed Drew Barrymore. Guys, oh, yeah. wait, quickly at the end. Wow. our podcast. podcast but working on it, a pod. Oh, yeah, we have a podcast. Working it's coming on back. Pod. It's coming back. I would, that's yeah. what I want. Thank you for bringing Season it up. Because that was the one thing I wanted to ask. I we yeah. just did a holiday special. Quitters. You with... haven't done an episode in a while. You yeah, yeah, a little yeah. break. We took a we little took break. Okay. We're now partnered with Lemonada. Lemonada. We just did a holiday special with some very special guests. Of course, I'll say Mary Jepsen. It's going to be great. You can't get rid of that kid, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> She's joining me no, on, it's our best on her like, birthday. She has him like imprisoned in her house. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're taking him on a fun trip, though. He's going to join us We're for going, my birthday. Yeah. You, should, yeah. like, trip. you should start like a running joke on TikTok that you've like hired him as your nanny or something. Okay. That would be very funny. Okay. Yeah. I think you just like <laughs> make make sure like just hand over He's Riley, be like, nanny. okay, yeah. come on, Chris. Well, he has his nanny outfit. True. Yeah, the maid outfit. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a nanny outfit. It's a maid outfit, and he was like, it would fit. It was great. I think that would be a funny TikTok. Hell okay, right. awesome. All Thank good you guys things. so much. Thanks Thank for you. switching sides for me. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I felt Anytime. so pretty this whole time. And next time we're doing it in your house. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Please. Period. Perfect. We will hold you to that. Please. All right, that wraps up today's episode of Chicks in the Office. Can't wait to see all your beautiful faces tonight at the live show. Make sure you are subscribing everywhere. YouTube, we love you guys, and we'll talk to you on Friday.